Leeks. They look like onions. They are onions. They look like our little green onions that we get in the spring. And they're very related to each other. This is little small. This one's really big. I'm going to show you how to do leeks. The two easiest ways, but the most delicious way to enjoy leeks is in leek soup. I have that recipe on my website. So basic preparation is this is one of the dirtiest vegetables you're going to get in the grocery store. I'm going to show you how to do it the easy way. Some people used to just cut this in half and then they would try to wash it. My way is very easy. As you know, I like to do things easy. You do have to cut off the, the root end and it's usually quite dirty. As you can see, it's not a real clean thing. So we just toss that away. And then you'll notice that this goes from white all the way to dark green. The darker the green, the less likely it is we'll be able to consume it. So what you usually do is you go where the white ends and you go about an inch and a half up, maybe two inches, and you cut right there. And that makes the, this is the most edible part of it. Now this is like, I don't know, I feel like I could do flooring with it or something, but it's really nice. It's really pretty. It shows how it's all done. But you'll also notice that this is where most of the dirt is. So I don't put it with my edible part. So I throw this away. Now you do have to open this up and you do have to check for dirt. It could have slid into there while it was developing. So I'm going to cut it down the middle. And then what I would do is I would just take it apart. You see how it's just different little layers. It does need to be washed. So I'm going to show you what I've done. I did this a little earlier on one and I've put it in water and I have let it just sit there. I've, you know, fumbled with it a few times and I made two changes of water. I do see a little dirt in the bottom, but not much at all. And then what you do is you just pick all these up because you want, this is the part you want to eat. And all I've done is I've sliced this into fourths. And so now I'm picking it up and I'm going to braise this as they call it. And I'm going to make this on the front burner here and turn this up and I'm going to put this in with the water that's still connected to it into this pan. I've got some butter, but you can use your favorite oil. You don't need much. You just want some in there. And then you just let these start cooking. Now you might have wanted to slice these a different way. And I'm going to do that now with this next one. I don't feel like my flame is on. There it goes. So for this one, what I've done, let me move this out of the way, our dirty water. What I've done is I cut these into fours the long way, and you'll see it just becomes, and it has a very mild oniony flavor. It's milder than the bulb onions. Then I cut these in half. Now they're going to shrivel up a little bit when you get finished. So I just cut these down the long way, so I got the fourths. And then I cut these in half. Now, there's two basic ways to cook them. You can braise them in, a, in an oil, like I've done with the first batch, or you can boil them. Now, the other thing to watch out for is that when you get these here together, this one feels a little tough to me, the one on the outside. So I might take that off. This, ah, uh, this one feels better. So you just have to kind of get used to that. But, you know, even if you cook it and it's tough, you can get rid of it after you've cooked it, so it's not that big a deal. So the other way to cook it is here in the to boil it. And you want to boil it about 10 to 15, maybe 20 minutes, depending on how you've cut it and how tough yours is. Um, so we just sprinkle that into boiling salted water. This has about a half a teaspoon of salt. And we just put those in. Get the rest of these here. And we want to stir that so that it gets them all wet. And then I wait till it comes to a boil before I put my lid on and I kind of watch to be sure that everybody's covered up and everybody's, you know, swimming in the water here for us. Um, and then you want to test them before you decide that they're all done. Be sure and taste one. Take out a piece and taste it. So, so those are the two basic ways. I'm going to stir up this one that has the oil on it. Just want to keep them coated and now I've got them pretty coated and I can see that they're all kind of starting to limp a bit. So I'm going to put my lid on. 
the pot so that it takes the moisture, doesn't dry them out too much. Now on my website, I do have that recipe for leek soup. Leek soup is totally onion. If you don't like the onion, then you want to add the, the leeks to other pots of different kinds of soup as the onion part of it. You can use these in place of bulb onions if you'd like to have a milder taste. So I want to do a little bit of biology with the leek. So this is the leek, and then these are our spring onions. I want to show you the great similarity. But the similarity ends in the fact that we can eat the whole length of the spring onion, or the green onion as some people call it. Now both of them can be dirty in the green parts. So when I am preparing these and I want to eat the spring onions for raw, I just cut off the ends with the root. And then I do the same thing I do for the leeks. I go up here where it's near the green, where the, all the junction is, and I take these off, get rid of those. And then I usually pull off the first one because it's kind of been manhandled. But if you'll see, this one's not very dirty. But some of the others are, and if you'll notice, they're in the same little design of weaving. I call it like they're woven together. And so then on this one, I'm going to cut off the main part. And then you can take these and be sure they're clean by running them under water. This is a very clean one. Um, and being sure that they're clean before you chop it up. And then on the other end, where it's all been kind of mangled, I usually chop that off. Now, the really nice things about these is that you go all the way to the end, and you can use them all, you can eat them raw, you can add them to your other dishes. So that's the similarity between the leeks and the spring onions. They come off about the same time, and as you can tell, they're very related. Now, the leek, when you're trying to decide where you're getting down to the hard, to the softer one, you can kind of start looking at it. You can peel these off, and there's the dirt up there. But the leek is one of those vegetables that I think a lot of people overlook because they don't know exactly what to do with it. There is quite a bit of waste with it because you don't eat the top leaves. Um, but go to my website, and I'll show you how to do more with the leek. Uh, if you haven't tried it before, during the spring, they're pretty reasonable in the stores.